Welcome to the complete guide of the SG Timer Go. Today we are going to look at the physical characteristics, controls, and interface of the new shot timer from Shooters Global. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to use your SG Timer Go at 100%. The SG Timer Go has a top mounted screen with a backlight. The backlight will turn off after 30 seconds of being in standby. It has two buttons, start and function. The sensor is located on the front and the buzzer is on the bottom along with the USB-C port for charging. The timer comes with a quick release belt attachment. Insert the Velcro strap like this and put it on your belt. Slide the timer on from the top. To remove the timer, push the lever and pull the timer up. If you are using an optional clip, slide it up the same way. To remove it, firmly insert the tool included in the box and push the clip down. To turn on the timer, press and hold the start button. To turn it off, press and hold the function button and quickly press and release the start button. The timer will also turn off automatically after 30 minutes of standby. To switch between shooting, dry fire mode, and RO mode, press and hold the function button. In shooting mode, you'll see your preset, delay, and the sensitivity level. To change the presets, use your function button. After you start the session and shoot, you'll see the number of shots made, the time of your last shot, first shot, and the best split. The icon in the top right corner shows whether the timer is recording shots or not. If you're using par time and multiple sets, the timer will show when it's recording and when it's a pause between the sets. To start another session right away, press the start button. To end the session, press the function button. The results screen will show you the number of the shot, shot time, and the split between them. First shot is always fixed on top, followed by the last shot. To scroll the shots down, use the function button. If there are multiple sets, they will scroll from top to bottom one by one, and you can see which set it is in the top right corner. To exit the main menu, press and hold the function button. The controls in dry fire mode are the same. On the screen, you'll see the mode, smart or classic, delay, time goal, and number of reps. In smart mode, the timer will also show the delta between your goal and the execution time. RO mode is the same as shooting, except the results don't get saved to your account in the Drills app. To configure shooting presets and dry fire settings, use the Drills app. Tap the timer icon and connect your timer. Go to Shooting Presets. After the preset is configured, give it a name, save it, and it will appear on the timer. That way you can, for example, switch between instant and random delay on a range without using the app. You can also start the timer from the app. To learn more about the Drills app, watch a dedicated video on our channel. To adjust dry fire settings, go to Training, set your time parameters, and the number of reps. It will be automatically transferred to the timer. To switch between the exercises, just tap on it in the app and it will change on the timer. The timer will remember the last settings you use so you can use it without the app. To review the results, connect the timer to the app and wait until they sync. Go to Activity and review each individual session in detail on the large screen. Keep in mind that all features in the app are available with the SG Timer Go. Stage shooting, video mode, match mode, and so on. To learn more about them, watch the dedicated videos on our account. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And thank you for watching.